Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a mullet haircut tutorial. Mullets have been making their way back every so often, so I figured I get quite a few requests for mullets in general. There's so many types of mullets and things you can do. So I'm gonna create my own version of a mullet and I'll cut it, follow along, then I'll break it down at the end. Here is the mullet, and I want to show you a couple different versions. Firstly, I've got some hair in the mannequin's face, so if you are a professional, the easiest way to get hair off of someone's face is simply by doing this. It works like a charm. Actually, don't do that. <laughs> so let's break down the mullet haircut. So the first thing I did was I established the length in the back here, and you can have a variety of lengths. Clearly with this type of haircut, you can have it longer, you can have it shorter. The key to this is that any sort of mullet haircut, the back is longest, right? And this kind of flows into the back. So I created the length, then I created my shape where I went up in a severe, severe angle going all the way down in through here. So it may seem like it's a bit, bit disconnected and it totally can be. I mean, this can be all really, really short, right? Like this, and then it all goes down into that. You have, you have many different options with, with mullets, to be honest with you. So then I created the perimeter right and throughout the front here, as you can see. The next part of this haircut was the layering, right? So the layering, again, really depends on your taste and how short you want it, but I held this all straight up. So this particular hair, length is I'd say about four to four and a half inches long. Held everything straight out from the head. When I got to the bottom area, I did kind of over direct it a little bit so it remained a little bit longer, but you need those types of layers to have that flow and that movement. If you don't want to, and you want to really make it look like pretty hideous, you could just not blend it in, cut this really short and just have a severe disconnection and it's like short and then long. I've seen that too. Then I connected the back part of the head into the top, again, holding everything straight up and making sure it was all evenly balanced working forwards. Then I did the corners, held everything out and the same thing throughout the sides. So it's all pretty rounded in through here. What I did then was I went back and sometimes that leaves some kind of uneven areas right in through here. I cut that, strengthened up that line here, connected it with the front, make sure, made sure it was 
totally connected on both sides. And then I went back in, double checked to make sure it was all blended in and connected. Used my shears here to kind of texturize the front a little bit so it's not so heavy. And I blow dried it all down towards the face. I did use my Tidal Wave sea salt spray. Then I dried it, used just my hands. And here is one particular look, right, when it comes to the mullet. Now, you may not want to wear it in the face. It's totally up to you. You can just soften it up a little bit like this. The other way, which I wanted to show you, is if you wanted to brush this all back, right, and have like a feathered type of mullet. This is really, really kind of like 80s inspired, where you brush the hair all back like this, and we've got more of that feathered look going this way. Very, very classic type of uh, haircut, retro haircut. And you can see here, the layers look very, very nice. It flows very consistently, and that's what you want for this type of haircut, is you want the haircut to really flow. So I'm curious to know in the comments below, do you prefer the haircut and the mullet where it's all down towards the face this way, or do you all like it where it's off the face and kind of feathered back? I'd really like to know uh, everyone's opinion here. Because, you know, and again, it all de depends on your own personal style and uh, what you would like to have. Let me know in the comments below which version you like better towards the face, away from the face. Let me know if you enjoyed this haircut. Again, with mullets, there are so many variations that you can do. The key is, is that the back part here on the nape area is the longest compared to everything else. That's really, you know, you can make anything into a mullet. So I try to make this a more kind of classical mullet, nothing too crazy. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.